Welcome to the Sintra Intersection 9 tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Intersection Input dialog for basic intersection configuration. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, please leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. Now let's begin. When the program starts, the Site tab will open with an empty project. The Add New Site group in the ribbon includes the commands available for adding sites to the project. Using these commands, you can create new, signalized sites, roundabouts, sign-controlled intersections, freeway single-point interchange, and pedestrian crossing sites. In this video, we'll create and use the intersection dialog to configure roundabout, sign-controlled, and signalized intersection sites as examples. Let's create the roundabout site first. In the Add New Site group, click the Roundabout command to add a two-lane unsignalized roundabout site. The default roundabout site will be added to the project, as seen in the Sites section of the Project pane. You can use the Site Layout button in the Command ribbon, or double-click the site name to view the default site configuration in the Display pane. The Site Input section will now show the input dialogs available for the new site. Start your data specification with the Intersection dialog. This is because the intersection configuration established in this dialog will determine the geometry and movement data structure used in all other dialogs. To begin your site specifications, select the site you wish to work with in the project pane. Click Intersection in the Site Input section to open the dialog. You can also access the input dialogs by right-clicking the layout display. Let's review the dialog buttons before making input changes. As found in all input dialogs, use the Help button to access detailed information about the intersection dialog. OK means accept the changes and close the dialog. Click Cancel or press the Escape key when you do not want the changes to be saved. Use Apply to accept the changes and keep the dialog open. You do not need to click Apply if you are going to click OK or Process Site. Process Site means accept the data changes, close the dialog, and process input data, carrying out computations which will give you access to output reports and displays. The dialog consists of the Intersection tab and the Properties tab. The Intersection tab allows you to enter basic information about the site, establish the configuration of intersection legs, and specify approach data. Use the Site Data section to specify the site name, site ID, site category, and site title. Enter a site name. The site ID is particularly useful in identifying sites in network displays. Allocating a site category will assist in using project summary reports in a flexible way. Click the Select Category button to select from predefined user categories, or enter a category name directly into the Site Category field. Add custom category names to the predefined list using the Add button. The Site Title allows multi-line text for identifying site characteristics in addition to the information provided by the site name and site category.
The Approach Editor and Approach Geometry group are used to insert and delete approach legs and specify leg geometry. The Approach Editor allows selection of both existing and non-existing legs. You can rotate the intersection without changing the overall intersection configuration. Use the Leg Geometry drop-down list in the Approach Geometry group to choose an option to define the geometry of a selected leg. Select the North Leg in the Approach Editor and choose No Leg from the Leg Geometry drop-down list to delete the North Leg to configure a three-leg roundabout site. These leg geometry options can also be found by right-clicking an intersection leg in the Approach Editor. Select the South Leg. The program allocates the word road name as the default name. Double-click to select it and type the road name. Let's give the name Alpha Street to the South Leg and Gamma Street to the east and west legs. In the Approach Geometry group, you can specify the approach distance and exit distance values. These are particularly important in network modeling. Let's specify an approach distance for the south leg in this example. The exit distance will be the same as approach distance when the default program option is selected. The extra bunching parameter in the approach data group is used to allow for the effect of upstream signals on capacity. For site analysis, you can specify an input value for this parameter using the figure provided in the user guide. For network analysis, the program option will result in automatic calculation of extra bunching. Click the Properties tab to inspect the site attributes. If desired, you can enter detailed notes about the site in the Site Information box. Click OK to accept the changes and close the dialog. The roundabout site layout picture will update automatically to reflect the changes made in the intersection dialog. Close the picture and save the project. Remember to save your projects regularly, as a project file is not saved automatically after changes are made. Enter a project file name and click Save. Let's add a stop sign control site to our project and look at its basic configuration in the Intersection Input dialog. Click the Sign Control command in the Add New Site group in the ribbon and select Stop Two-Way East-West Major Road. Click Layout to view the default configuration for this Sign Control site. Then open the Intersection Input dialog. As with all site types, you will find the default intersection dialog fields to enter site data. Configure approach legs using the Approach Geometry section. And enter extra bunching specifications in the Approach Data group. When the site type is two-way stop or two-way give way or yield, the Sign Control section appears with the Approach Control drop-down list at the bottom of the dialog. This parameter can be used to modify control conditions of approaches at sign-controlled intersections.
Let's add a signalized intersection to the project and inspect the intersection input dialog. Click the Signals command in the Add New Site group in the ribbon and select the At Grade Intersection site. Click Layout. Then use the right-click menu in the display to open the Intersection Input dialog. Fill in your site data information and establish the intersection configuration using the Approach Geometry and Approach Data groups. For signalized sites, the intersection dialog includes the Signals section with the Area Type Factor parameter at the bottom of the dialog. This parameter is used as a saturation flow adjustment factor for the effect of environment. For an intersection in a city center environment, a value of 0.9 is recommended for reduced saturation flow rates. The Quick Input function allows you to apply this value to all approaches of the intersection. This concludes our tutorial on the Intersection Input dialog in Sidra Intersection. Thank you for watching.